everyone, it's Hayley. Um, I firstly just want to say my apologies if you can hear some kind of snoring. <laughs> it's my son down the monitor. He's obviously rolling over, I can hear him banging about. So if you hear any odd noises whilst I'm making this video, it'll be um, noises from my son's bedroom. <laughs> um, so I've got quite a lot to fill you in on. Um, I had filmed a video a few days ago um, to update you on cycle 2 um, and I deleted it because it was really really long and rambly <laughs> and um, quite depressing and I don't want to come on here and depress you all obviously I'm going to share with you when I'm feeling um, low um, and when things aren't going as planned but it was just a bit too much um, not really where I wanted to go with these videos I wanted to keep them positive and there was no positivity in it at all so um, I deleted that and I'm going to update you all in one go now so um, as you can probably tell from me having made a really depressing video before um, Cycle 2 is a bust. Um, I came on my period. Today is Tuesday, the 4th of March, and I came on my period on Friday, the 28th of February. So, um, Thursday, I was pretty down in the dumps because I kind of knew it was on the way. Um, and then Friday, I was really down in the dumps because it arrived and that was that. Um, and um, been gradually kind of just coming out of that, not depressed, but out of that grumpy, kind of defeated um, stage over the weekend. So I'm feeling a lot more positive about things now. Um, we were discussing having a break from Clomid for a few months, because um, obviously I've only got six months. Um, we wondered whether... I should de-stress a little bit and give ourselves the best chance of the Clomid working. Um, so to have a break. Um, but um, eventually, when it came to the crunch, we decided against that. And to power through and go ahead with the third cycle of Clomid. So I've just literally taken the fourth tablet of five. So tomorrow night will be the last clomid tablet that I'll need to take for this cycle um, and then we'll go from there I am making some changes though um, uh, the only thing I'm going to be uh, keeping tabs on is ovulation um, purely from the fact of um, I'm not being monitored um, by the surgery so I figured I need to keep an eye on whether the clone is working. We knew from month one that it was working because I had day 21 bloods. Um, and we knew from last month that it was working because I had a positive ovulation. But just in case one month by a fluke it doesn't work, I want to just keep tabs on it. So I'm going to do the ovulation tests. Um, but... I am no longer going to um, chart my temperature, cervical mucus changes, um, I'm not going to note down when we have sex or anything like that, um, it is, I just want to keep it as informal and as least like TTCing as I possibly can. Um, that's what we did last time because um, I was lucky enough to be um with a private consultant last time because it was when I was um first found out about all the the PCOS and everything so um my healthcare through work covered it um whereas this time we're not being so closely monitored so I still want to kind of keep tabs on 
the ovulation but I don't want to be stressed out and last time I wasn't stressed out because I wasn't thinking about it so much so yeah that's the first big change the second big change is I tonight started back at Slimming World so I've got around between one stone two and one stone seven to lose um till I'm at my weight that I'll be really happy with so that's given me something to focus on for a TTC point of view and for a myself point of view um if it makes no difference whatsoever to the TTCing I'll at least be losing weight for the summer and and everything else so it's um it's a good thing for me to do either way. Um, so yeah, those are the two big changes that I'm making um, this cycle. I'm going to try and chill out a little bit more and not focus so much on TTC. I'm going to try and find things to do to distract me in the two week wait. Um, and I'm going to try not to go on so many forums, symptom spotting and has anybody felt this before and everything else I'm just going to try and avoid all of that um, and then obviously try and lose the weight as well so um, this video is a bit more uplifting than the last one I made so um, I was really keen to fill you all in on what was going on um, and to let you know that I was in a bit of a grump and um, feeling pretty down about everything um, but I didn't want the video to have no hope or optimism in it at all um, because it's not really what I want these things to be about um, obviously I want to document the rough with the smooth but I don't want I don't want it to be like a woe is me kind of thing you know so best of both worlds so yeah that's where I am um, so a few days into cycle three um, and we'll see where this one takes us. So I will keep you updated um, with regards to the whole ovulating thing. Um, I'll see if I get a positive ovulation test and if, if and when I do I will keep you all posted. Um, and then apart from that because I'm not doing any symptom spotting or anything like that um, I'll just update you if my period arrives or if I get a positive pregnancy test I'll update you then so um, yeah I'll probably speak to you guys in the next kind of week hopefully um, if last month's cycle is anything to go by then I should be ovulating around next weekend so yeah a little over a week uh, we're on Tuesday today so yeah about 10 days um, I'll update you guys again and um, yeah I think that's it from me really I don't think I've got anything else to update you on so um, I don't know if you can hear his snoring it's really loud <laughs> it's like his daddy um, okay so I will um, leave you guys be um, and just a big hi and hello to everybody um, sending all my love and best wishes out to you all for happy cycles um, and positive stories and I will update you all soon take care everybody and I'll speak to you later bye